But what it meant now is instead of having this suite of tyres available for the race, we had just the extra hard. Would the hard against the medium have made the difference? I don't think so. Did the updates improve our qualifying and race pace? Well, it's always quite difficult to look at a single event and work out how much you've moved forward because the performance bounces around track to track. But we can measure the load that the update's providing and that all looked to be very much in line with expectation. It was quite a difficult weekend to balance the car. It was very windy. Uh, the wind was behind the car through the S's, which can make it quite oversteery. Um, and the balance wasn't quite as good as we've had at some other circuits. But overall, the pace did look like it was a step in the right direction. And certainly in qualifying, it was much easier to get a good gap to cars like the Alpine and the McLaren, although the gap to Ferrari and Red Bull was still there and we need to work to get that smaller. What happened with Lewis's brakes? Well, we had an issue a few times in the weekend where one brake gets hot and works very well and the other one is cold. And the drivers often talk about a brake split or glazing, but it's quite difficult to then get them balanced. And the effect of that is that when they go into a corner, the cold brake doesn't generate much torque, the hot one does, and it's very easy to, to lock them. So that was the issue that he had on the laps to the grid, but also something that was a problem during the, the safety car. How much damage did George have from that lap one collision with Carlos? Well, the end plate was quite badly damaged. Uh, we were measuring the loads uh, from that damage on the car, and it looks like it was the order of a tenth or two. But the bigger problem from that was the inconsistency it was causing with the car balance. Um, there were bits that were no longer rigidly attached. They were moving around a little, and that causes disruption to the airflow that can make the car behavior a bit unpredictable. Why didn't we put Lewis on medium tires at the end of the race instead of the hard tires? The decision for what tires we had in the race actually stems all the way back to the week before the race. You have a limited quantity of tires into a race weekend and you try and optimize their usage against weather or track conditions and you try and decide what you want in your race allocation. In our case, what we'd highlighted is we thought the hard tire between a medium and a hard would be the more useful compound. It certainly was the year prior and we thought the soft, as it really turned out to be the case as well, would be too weak in the race. We made that decision before the race weekend started. And part of the complication that you have is that you have to have enough soft tires in qualifying to be able to get through successfully against a balance of enough race tires to have a successful race. What Red Bull were able to do, and Leclerc as well, is they went in with just three soft tires, but they also had a qualifying car that was a little bit faster than our own, fast enough that you can take that sort of risk. We, on Balance and Merit, decided that four soft tyres would be a better allocation. I'm confident and happy that that was the correct solution in hindsight. But what it meant now is instead of having this suite of tyres available for the race, we had just the extra hard. Would the hard against the medium have made the difference? I don't think so. I think we had evidence from stint one of the race where we had both Lewis and Verstappen on that medium tyre. He pulled five seconds relative to us. And in fact, we started to fall off the degradation curve at the end of that stint. Our car, simply on the day, wasn't quite on the pace he needed it to. And the hard tyre, whilst it was worse at the beginning of the stint, actually provided quite a good, sensible, long stint against a medium. I think that the truth is that we did a good shot, or had a good shot, at trying to win the race. We benefited from a few circumstances to put us ahead, but it wasn't really the tyre choice that would have made the difference. Could George have finished on the podium without the Turn 1 incident? I think so. He had the pace relative to Lewis this weekend and, and the car was there or thereabouts for a podium position. Obviously, we benefited from the fact that Perez and Leclerc had penalties that pushed them back. But with where George was, there's no reason why we wouldn't have been fighting for a podium in normal circumstances. Will we use the new front wing? Well, the reason we didn't run it in Austin was because we only had one of those parts. So if we damaged it during qualifying, it would have meant the car that damaged the wing had to start from the back. Um, also, with a very busy program, we had the tyre test in FP2. We didn't actually have time to evaluate. So we have more of those parts available in Mexico. We will run that on the Friday. We'll check it's all working as expected. And the plan at this stage is to race that wing. Thank you for that comment. There was a lot of hard work uh, went into bringing that update to the track. And that is our last major update. 
but there are always a, a string of new parts, smaller parts that we're looking at either to get a, get a small gain in performance. Uh, a lot of it at this stage of the year though is about learning for next year. So some of those test parts are really just trying to understand some of the development direction we want to go in. So like I said, it's the last major update, but it won't be the last change to the car. Are you still fighting for second in the championship or is third place actually better because of the wind tunnel current game? Our, our, our goal is clear. We're here to fight Ferrari and take second place by the end of the championship. It's a tall order where we are in points now. They've got over a 50 point deficit that we have to overcome in the next three races. But we're here to pick up everything we can towards the end of the year and learn more importantly about where we need to be next year. I mean, ultimately, we don't want to be finishing second or third. But certainly third for us would just be nothing. The, the ATL would be a small consolation prize relative to the gain of being second in this year's championship. We had one final statement that I, I think it was the W14 is going to be a, a rocket beast. Um, probably different terminology internally, but completely uh, we mirror your sentiment on this one. We're here to come back and fight for wins and for the championship next year. And the W14 has to be a step and will be a step over where we are now. Thank you very much for all of your questions. We will be back in a week's time after the Mexican Grand Prix.